have had the axe in drawer, so it's had, it has uh, shrunken a bit uh, on the shaft. So I'm going to address uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the transition between uh, let's see, the top of the head here and uh, uh, on the shaft. So uh, things happen. Uh, I've gotten a small ridge here that I'm going to remove and uh, better see the head. I, uh, I filed down the, uh, the edge here to give it a smoother transition because on the uh, uh, original from factory it's a very sharp point. And it's uh, pinned to the uh, handle by a uh, screw, a screw pin, whatever you call it, a stop screw. And uh, it uh, buries into the handle, so that's the original David from the that screw. So I'm going to take care of this uh, thing and get back to you. So I'm back for take two. Oh. Sorry guys. Uh, now it's a much uh, neater fit and uh, doesn't wriggle loose. So. Let's chop this off. isn't going to have a fixed head. The main purpose with the hawk is you're going to have you're going to have the ability to take the ha uh, hawk's head off and use it for other purposes. So such as scraping uh, skin and uh, or leather I should say. And uh, yeah, making small tasks where you don't need a big handle. I'm gonna process uh, this uh, limb down to size so it's easier to move. So I usually move from side to side. So I have the limb between myself and my cutting edge. That way, if I slip, I can't touch my leg. That's basic, <laughs> basic stuff, of course. Whenever you get the ship stuck on your blade, you should remove it before you continue.
So when I got it, it had, I believe, 40 degrees on each side uh, grind. So I brought the grind up and took it down to about 25 to 30 degrees on each side. Still have a lot of meat behind the edge, uh, but you have a uh, but you have an edge that you, you can uh, carve with as well. It isn't super sharp, sharp, but uh, it does the job. That is of course down to me not sharpening it, it to the point where it's like a razor. This wood is about the same as willow or hazel, so it is a soft, hard wood, <laughs> so if somebody wonders. So, <clears throat> Right at the knot. So by doing it this way, it doesn't torque. You don't torque the the handle in itself. You just torque the blade, if that makes sense. Oh, nice. Got a pig poo right here. It doesn't sharpen as easy as uh, the Swedish axe from uh, Gransfors Bruk or uh, Hultafors Bruk Hultafors uh, or uh, Vetterlings but uh, you can get a good edge on it anyway so I'm sure if you have a workshop station or something you can get a good edge on it but if you're doing it by hand it's hard can be done but it takes time and a lot more effort I'm trying to mind my legs when I do this this is really wet so you, you get the uh, fussy curls just from that and it's a uh, this wood has long fibers as well and that also plays in a so soft hardwood with uh, long fibers tend to get fussy if you don't real if you don't have a really really sharp blade with a good edge geometry I am quite happy with the with the uh, hawk as it is, but it took some hours to get it where I like it. And uh, I guess those that buy hawks from the American uh, tomahawk company know, knows that already, or Cold Steel as sells them. Uh, so 
all around a good tool, fun to play around with and uh, it's great for hiking and so on. I went with the Rifleman's Hawk just because I wanted the extra weight. I'm an axe guy in the uh, foremost, so I like the heft from, from an axe. So that's the reason. Uh, the rest of the lineup is pretty uh, lightweight Hawks. You can you, you, uh, use uh, fast strokes with those. And uh, more of a chipping action. So I like it a lot and uh, for the money it's not bad at all. Uh, I might go with a custom one someday. We'll see. <laughs> so thank you for watching and uh, please leave your comments, questions, suggestions and uh, if you if you have any complaints don't <coughs> you can leave them too uh, very wet and uh, muddy today so i'm slipping and sliding around here uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye